That was the dolly zoom effect, and it's an effect that was first used by Alfred Hitchcock in 1958 in the movie Vertigo. And it's a very simple effect to achieve by using waypoints. So if you have a Mavic 3, any of the Mavic 3s, a Mini 4 Pro, or an Air 3, and you have DJI waypoints, you can create that effect using just two waypoints and the zoom wheel on your controller. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, give you a demo, and show you all of the steps. So the first thing to do when you're going to be creating a dolly zoom mission using waypoints is to pick your subject. Now I've chosen this little monument here and you don't have to be close to the subject. This subject is about 130, 140 metres away from my location but I'm flying over there and I'm going to create the waypoint mission at that distance. So when you get close to your subject, it's helpful to bring up the grid lines and the, the cross in the middle, which is going to help you to line up the subject a lot better. And what you want to do is, first of all, line it up using the cross here and the lines so that you know the size and the location of the subject. And that's going to become important when you get to waypoint two. So once you've lined it up, and as you see there, I've got the crosshairs just above the little ball on the top of the monument. And I've got the bottom of the monument just sitting kind of on that downward uh, orange line. Okay, and that's going to be my first waypoint. So all you do now is you bring up your waypoint mission and you click on the plus to add your first waypoint or you hit the C1 button. Then move your drone back and use the zoom and zoom in continuing to move the, the drone back in a straight line as much as you can. Now, if it's windy, it's going to be quite difficult to move directly back. But move back until you have the subject positioned pretty much the same as it was when you were at waypoint one and not zoomed in. Now you're going to add this as a second waypoint. And it's going to have that waypoint at zoomed in at three times. Now, after that, you want to pick your global speed. Now, this is a short distance, so I think four meters a second is probably going to be right. Once you've set your global speed, you have your two waypoints, just hit next. The drone will fly back to waypoint one, and it will then change the zoom to where you had it set when you clicked to add the first waypoint and then it'll carry start the mission. There we go, it's flying backwards and it's zooming in. You can see there the zoom is going right out to three. And there you have the dolly zoom effect. So there's a lot of really great waypoint missions and great effects that you can create by just using some simple waypoints. There's another one that I created very recently that shows you how to create a mission that is almost impossible or even impossible to create flying manually. If you'd like to see that, just click right there.